Um, this is me. And what I'm going to do now, it's, um, it's, a little, it's a little bit complicated what's happening here because to build this PC, I'm going to be using some parts from my existing PC over here. Um, so I'm just like backing some things up um, before I dismantle it. We're going to need um, the PSU, power supply. We're going to need the, um, the graphics card and the SSD. All these from my existing PC. Um, what I'm going to build, the new parts, are a case, um, a CPU, memory, and cooling. And so I'm going to bring those in right now while this um, up, uh, backs up to my external hard drives. All right. <laughs> I just grabbed some of that stuff in here. There we go. So we have, <laughs> for this build, uh, a Define, a Fractal Design Define 7 case. We have a uh, 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 gigabyte, yeah, gigabyte Aorus X570 Master Gaming Motherboard. Um, set that aside. We've got a Corsair. Oh, it's going to drop anything just yet. Um, a Corsair IQH150i RGB, who cares about that, uh, Pro XT cooler. Um, this case is all black, and there's no windows in it, and I chose it for that reason exactly, because I don't want any RGB or lighting or any effects like that. I don't care about that. Um, we have um, a very uh, well-packaged uh, uh, Ryzen 9 5950X. This has 16 cores, uh, 32 threads. Uh, it's a beast, and it's it's very funny to me that this came that way from the store. Um, and you've got twice 64 gigs uh, RAM, also Corsair. So I'm going to have 128 gigs of RAM in this beast. Uh, and I'm going to build it all here. Um, I will need to move my streaming computer, my streaming laptop, because, yeah, I needed to use the laptop because otherwise, if I build the computer and I need my parts uh, in the middle, well, the stream would end. <laughs> so I had to set everything up on my laptop, which is also like new-ish, second hand, but it works. Um, so I'm going to try and set it aside. Mm, I'm going to do this. <sighs> Should have thought of this before. But I'm going to set it up over here where we started. All right. One sink is down. I'm going to start the other one. This is very weird to me um, to be, well, effectively uh, shutting down my existing computer for the for the last time because of all the stuff in it. Um, even though most of it is, uh, you know, backed up outside, but you know, we all we always have these things like even computer tabs, like uh, browser tabs open. Um, so that's kind of like giving me slight anxiety. What's going to happen if I forget to back up my open tabs or whatever? Uh, what if I forgot a file on the main uh, SSD, which I'm going to format? Okay. This is okay. Yeah, so I set up a little stream deck here with which I'm going to... Um, change camera angles. We got a top view. <laughs> uh, we got this camera, obviously, and we've got uh, two picture-in-picture -picture modes. But um, for now, let's stay with this one until I get some of the, some of the stuff here on the desk. Um, 
Am I hooked up? Not yet. Let's do this. We good? We good. All right. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay, if the audio is okay, if the video looks okay. Um, if anything is a problem, I want to know now before we get really underway here. Um, also, feel free to join the Zoom. I should probably share the link somewhere. Uh, if you want to talk to me while we do this, Copy link. All right. Setting up another backup. Okay, that's working. Now let's talk about the components that I have here. Uh, or let's let's actually unbox them. So, you know, are we are we in top view right now? Yes. Okay. Um, let's start. Let's start with the case. It's the biggest one. The biggest the biggest item here. <laughs> this is a monster. Um, Fractal does make it in. Uh, a few sizes. This is like the normal size, and I personally would like a smaller version. There is a smaller version, but um, unfortunately, I think it's too small for the CPU that I want to put in it and the cooling that it requires. So I had to take like the the normal size, which is around the same size as what I have now, um, but it's sleek and easy to clean, and I don't know, it just looks good. So, let's, um, let's take a look at it, shall we? That's not a good place to put it. How are we? This is okay-ish. Um, okay. While we do this, I will take some pictures of the process. So that's what I would have done if I hadn't had the stream. Uh, anyway, so I do like to document my little projects, and this is one of them. If you have any questions um, regarding my build, my um, components that I, I, I went for, whatever, do feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm just speaking to myself, which is okay. I probably would have done that either way, stream or no stream. Um, yeah, let's get this started. Um, so, there are so many computer cases out there, and it's really hard to choose one. Luckily, I have a friend who has this case, well, the previous version of it, the R6, the Define 6, and uh, it looked, it's really, really clean, it's, it's very um, unassuming, it's not flashy RGB and whatever, let's look at this, yeah, look at that. We've got the case here and the accessories. Take that out. Oh, that's <laughs> that is a lot of accessories. That's like the size of two keyboards, two huge keyboards. Set that aside for now. Um, let's get this case outside, huh? Okay, I'm gonna put that on the floor. It's gonna be easy. Um, anyway, he has the, the older one, and it's also white, which looked really nice, but I do like the black aesthetic more, so I bought the black one, and um, the reviews were not so raving about this case's thermals. So if you're running a super hot CPU, whether it's like a, a Threadripper, 
or a, a Core i9 12th gen, whatever, like a really hot CPU. This is not a recommended case. Oh my god. You could just see the amount. It's really tight <laughs> in there. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna get a hot CPU, this is not recommended um, because it blocks some air. There's, there isn't a lot of air flow in this one. Okay. <laughs> so the cardboard box is empty now. As you can see, I'm gonna set that aside. Um, anyway, I picked it because it's clean and because it's really well made. Um, they're all metal. Uh, they did not cheap out on, on uh, materials and build quality. And for me, ultimately, that mattered more than the thermal because I bought a CPU that's not as hot. And I don't intend to run the computer so hot. Um, sorry. I'm not going to run the CPU super hot. I'm not going to be doing full hour gaming session or whatever. This is a content creation PC. Um, and so it's going to be running hot only like if I render stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, still hard to see because of the nylon plastic wrapping. Let's take that out. Actually, I'll take a picture. Um, accessories box is ridiculous. But this is also um, one of the things that uh, the case is known for. It comes with all the accessories that you'll need for like mounting extra hard drives and whatnot, uh, cable management. Um, an alternate uh, top panel for the case. That's supposed to be in there. Um, I'll check in a second. So, this is the side. It's really hard for me to see while streaming. There you go. Side, rear. And. Let's look at the front. This is a beautiful, beautiful case. Ah, we're going to be removing this plastic wrap um, in a few minutes. Or maybe at the end. We'll keep that tool to, for the end. Um, you know, cool. Top part with some uh, ports uh, and the buttons and everything. Um, this is an, oh, a door you can open. Oh, that's a filter. Sorry. Door. Where are you gonna... oh, there we go. So you open the door for better cooling, and you can remove this front panel here. There you go. To reveal more cooling, <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna remove this altogether because I've heard that this hurts the thermos. Might do that. And inside here. Is this noise dampening mesh kind of thing, fabric. And this closes with magnets. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. So this is the case. Let's have a look inside. All these thumpings. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh, see your comment now, Tracy? Um... <laughs> Yeah, so the thing I'm using to change the angles is called the Stream Deck. It's this little thing. And uh, you can program it to do all sorts of things with the, with the stream and other things. You can use it for basically any application. Um, it's really neat, yeah. So, oh, all right, ooh. Just pressing that thing down, opens the panel. Here we have noise dampening as well. 
Uh, Tracy, feel free to either join the Zoom or write to me uh, about the computer you're, you want to build. Maybe I'll have some ideas. Maybe, maybe I can help you before you buy stuff. I don't know. I'm not an expert, um, but I've done a little bit of research with my computer. I do that every few years um, to learn what to do. So, motherboard is going to go in here. Usually hard drives go here, but I don't, th I don't think I'm going to need that. And I don't have as many hard drives as, hard drives as I used to. Um, I just bought, a f like, two huge ones. And instead of having four, four hard drives, four smaller ones. Uh, power supply is going to go down here. And I think the hard drives, actually, are going to go on the other side. Behind... Oh, this is beautiful. I love the little clip. And it feels really solid. Like if I if I tap this, it's really it's really dry. It's a dry sound. It's really good. If you try Hello. There's an echo. We can hear you twice. Oh shit. So there's an echo. Why is that? Is this any better? Ah. This. Is it better now? Is the audio better now? Do let me know in the comments. All right, yes. Yeah, so uh, back to the rear part of the case. Oh, no, wait, I was talking about the panel, about the sound that it makes. If I'm going to take out the panel of my existing computer, I'm doing it now off camera. I'm going to come to the camera in a second. Right, so. There you go. So this is a panel from my existing computer. And when I tap it, even without the, the plastic window, if I hold it down, Still like a metally sound, metallic sound. Whereas this one is made of metal, but probably through this, everything is like really dry and it's, it, it is good. It means it's gonna block sound and it's not gonna feel cheap. Like it's not gonna sound like that. This is also plastic. You can pull this, it says pull. You can lift it up, I think. I don't know how yet, <laughs> um, but we're gonna find out. I think it's, you just lift it up when, when you need to. Uh, so this looks like a place for SSDs and this looks, what does that look like? Well, we'll see in a minute. Uh, some cable management here, serial ATA. All right, let's look at, at this then, at the accessories box. What do we have here? Ah, uh, yes. All right, as I expected, suspected, and expected. <laughs> okay, user guide, great. We have a replacement panel. Can we see the computer here? Yes. So this is the existing top panel. It's removable. I'm not sure how. Do I just, oh, yep, just pull on it. Uh, there we go. And it's off. And it's also like heavy metal -y with with this noise dampening material thing. Um, the reason it's removable, A, so you can clean the filter. Cool. <laughs> so the insides of the computer are going to be clean. Let's see, this goes back here. There we go. Um, but if you're going to run your cooler on the top, of the case as opposed to the front or back um, you're gonna need the top panel to be open and I fear that's what I might do it's gonna hurt the aesthetics I think I mean it looks amazing but I really wanted like a, a clean top like a solid 
top. So I can just like run through it with a um, um, with a sponge or something, not a sponge, but you know, some sort of wipe and uh, get it clean. But if I'm gonna run some good thermals on this computer, which I want to, I might have to use this top. Um, anyway, let's see what else is in here. Um, I'll decide about the top later, I guess. More accessories. All right, I don't know, I'll need to take a picture. Nice. It all looks really cool. Um, these are hard drive caddies. These are to mount your um, 3.5 inch. Uh, I inch or centimeters? Um, hard drives. Where do they go? I think. I think they're mounted here. I think they're they're mounted here, uh, in some way. Um, but we'll look. Let's let's have a look at the user guide. What's this? Attention. Well, I'm not going to pay attention to that. User guide. Builder's guide. All right. Blah blah. Oh, that's nice. We've got some. Let's let's look at that close up. All right. Okay, cool. So we've got um, the the plate holder. It's, it's got a name. Top bracket. On top of that, you got the top filter, and you've got um, two types of tops. Oh, nice. They're going to tell me how how to build my computer. So yeah, I, I'm, I don't have two coolers. I don't have this um, uh, custom pump or anything. So it's going to be a different build. Oh, nice server build with all these hard drive caddies. Uh, we're not going to need that. And this is a, an optical drive build. We're not going to need that either. It's weird. There's no like other kind of build, like a normal build. Um, okay, let's see. So they're telling me to first remove the side panels. Uh, that's done. Install the power supply. Shit, that's going to have to wait. <laughs> um, until I finish backing up my existing computer. Um, then remove the top bracket, install the IO shield. That's gonna come with the motherboard, of course. Prepare the motherboard later. Install the motherboard assembly. Connect the cables for front IO. Fan hub, I'm not gonna use the fan hub, I don't think. Install the graphics card and install the, oh, there we go. All right, so the SSDs, or the 2.5 inch, two and a half inch, uh, they go on the back here. Luckily, I do think I have only two of those, I think. Yeah, one, one SSD is an M.2 drive that's gonna connect to the motherboard itself. Um, all right, so the other drives, they go under the shroud thing. That's cool. All right, let's see, uh, optional steps. What else can we do? Relocate a hard drive. These instructions are really good. They're black and white, but you have like a blue highlight to um, everything that's like important for, for that particular step. And I find that really nice. Uh, relocate a hard drive cage, remove a hard drive cage. So basically like more case um, customizations. How to change the top panel, how to reverse the door opening direction. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to keep it as is, though. It's the right side for me now. Um, installing a drive on a multi-bracket. That we might need to do. Pumps, we're, we're not going to do that. My cooling is an all-in-one, so it's like basically um, self-contained. I'm not going to build custom stuff over there. Um, all right, let's look at the other accessories. These are probably just like screws and stuff. Exactly. 
screws, cable ties, uh, and like noise dampening thingies. Cool. Very cool. Thing is, you get this uh, case. It's very, very well thought out. It's very, it gives you all these options. But if like, I only need one top, like the ventilated top or, or the solid top that I, that it came with, you're gonna end up with a top that you're ne not necessarily ever gonna use. Um, so it's a bit wasteful, but then again, it's nice that you can, you can change it in the future and you don't have to rely on, on a store or um, customer service or anything like that. All right. I'm gonna take a minute to check what else I need for my um, current computer. Just like looking at various folders to see if I missed something before I shut it down for the last time. So it's a bit, it's a bit stressful um, looking at all, all the things here. Just give me a minute, and I'll be with you. I wanted to do this before. But, couldn't find the time. This was, um, if this were not a stream, I wouldn't be so stressed and pressed to do it. Um, but here we are. It's a good time for you guys to go to the bathroom or something. actually done. Again, this is kind of stressful <laughs> um, to be shutting it down for the last time. Let's look at comments. Um, Ariel, I'm not going to be <laughs> looking at the video right now. Uh, kind of busy, but thank you for the, for the recommendation. Pretty, pretty fucking stressful to be doing that. To know that you're gonna lose your entire system drive. I'm gonna bookmark all these tabs. Shut this down. Shut this down. Shut this down. I'm gonna probably be losing a lot of custom settings to my, uh, oh shit, there's a games folder. Save games and everything. Um, hold on. Red alert three. I don't really have anything important there, do I? Yeah. So if I ignore that one, it's just 300 megs. Let's do that. There's some saved data there that I'm gonna need. 
the music library settings and everything. My torrenting app and everything, it's all going to hell right now. All right. I think it's happening. And yeah, I'm just gonna let it all go. Computer is shutting down. All right. Let's continue with the unboxing. Sorry about all that. That must have been boring as hell. Um, yeah, so. Gigabyte, that is my motherboard. It's an X570 motherboard, which I think is like one of the, one of AMD's most advanced chipsets. Um, it supports the Zen 3 architecture. I'm just like rambling with some specs here, but basically it's good. All right, so I need to lift this up. Ah, revealing shit. <laughs> oh god, we have some stickers here. Beautiful, wow. <laughs> like I'm a 13 year old gamer. Um, there's some more stuff here. <laughs> okay, not very tidy, but all right. Got some documentation, which is actually usually extremely useful. And a bunch of shit. A CD with drivers and utilities. Who uses CDs anymore? Um, what else do we have here? We have a Wi-Fi antenna. It's Wi-Fi 6 enabled. I'm actually not going to use this um, because I have wired LAN here. It looks good. Looks nice. <clears throat> That's going to the um, closet after this. Got some SATA cables, a couple of them. Uh, well, four of them, which I'm gonna use all four. Last time I did this, I used my, from uh, well, last time I did this in 2016, I used the, the cables I had in the computer before that. Um, and I was not aware that the cables themselves upgraded. So they <clears throat> provided much better uh, data transfer speeds. So whenever you get a new computer, whenever you get a new motherboard, use the cables they give you. Replace the ones you already have. They're probably better. This is extremely wasteful. All these uh, single screws inside little plastic bags. Um, I don't know what they're for yet, but we'll see. G connector. What, if, what is that? I do not know. Um, all right, I'm going to put all these back in here for later. The stickers go straight to the trash because I'm not that kind of PC builder. Um, how do we get this out of here? Oh, there we go. All right. This is the second best the second best uh, um, motherboard that gigabyte could offer for this chipset the reason is that uh, behind this heatsink here well, heatsink and, and fan uh, is what's called a VRM a voltage regulator module and what that does is take the voltage from the motherboard and provide uh, clean voltage to the CPU here um, in recent years, it's become a very, very important, um, part and it gets hot. So we have a fan here to cool that down. Let's remove these sexy music. There we go. Um, the motherboard that's like more expensive than this, same series, same chipset by Gigabyte, uh, very similar design too. 
the difference between that and this one, apart from some I.O. stuff, is that this is passively cool. So there's no fan here. Um, there's just like a giant heatsink, uh, which will run quieter. Um, it was almost double the price though. <laughs> so fuck that. <sighs> Lifting that, we can see the IO. I hope I'm, uh, pointing this correctly, but we have like, all these are like USB 3, USB 3.1, USB 3.1 type C. Um, oh yeah, we've got 2.5 gig LAN, gigabit LAN. Um, and yeah, the one, the motherboard that's more pricey than this has 10 gigabit LAN, which is really cool, but let's be honest, I'm not going to be using 10 gigabits of LAN anytime soon. Well, there's one last missing piece here. So I'm not really going to spend double the money just to get a feature that I'm probably never going to use. <sighs> okay. Now... These things here are covers for where the SSDs will go. That's interesting. In my current build, the SSD just sticks out that way. Um, okay. The computer is off. The old computer is off, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to bring it forward. And you're going to look how disgusting it is. There we go. And that's why I wanted, like, a clean top <laughs> that I could just, like, easily wipe away the dust from. Um, but we'll see, depending on the cooling situation, uh, what I'm going to do. Um, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that here, set that aside. And the motherboard accessories also set aside. Let's unbox the cooler. Corsair IQ H150i RGB Pro XD. Reason I bought it and... Well, actually, I wanted to stay with, with my existing cooling. Let me show you that. I wanted to stay with this, um, which is cheap because I already have it. I already paid for it. Um, but it might not cool the CPU properly. Not as much as I want. Uh, also, the bracket that's supposed to adapt it to the to the new CPU, because you know I, I bought that cooling six years ago. Um, it's out of stock everywhere. Can't find it anywhere. So I had to buy new cooling, fancier cooling, bigger cooling. And this has the least RGB, <laughs> I think. Um, from what I've found. Let's take a few pictures now. Oh, I forgot to take pictures of the um, motherboard. All right, super chilled it says on the side. And I certainly hope it does super chill. Warranty and probably some instructions. All right, cool. So we got this, we'll take a picture. That's just for me, I, I always do this. Um, whoever here knows me personally knows that I do this all the time. This is the oof, giant radiator. And it's connected already to the pump, which will go on the CPU later. Um, I'm not gonna unbox this any further right now, because I, I do wanna start building um, we forgot the memory and the CPU. Well, the CPU, not much to unbox here. Uh, memory, same thing, I think. Um, two sticks of DDR4, 32 gigs, and we've got another couple of these which will mean I will be running 128 gigs of RAM which is more than what Weird Al bragged his computer to have back in 1999 so it only took us 23 years 
but we're here now. And um, I've got more RAM than, than Weird Al claimed. Okay. Fucking shit. This computer is heavy. It's about to get heavier, isn't it? Um, Alright. This is my current build. It's dusty as fuck. Because the window has some holes in it. Holes for a radiator and fan, which I did not ever add. Let me just get the um, vacuum here real quick. Okay. I'm back with a vacuum. I'm going to mute myself. Um, just a second, Ariel. I hear you. Um, Ariel asks, how much did this all cost? Um, well, counting only the new parts, which is the case, the RAM, the CPU, and the cooler, uh, and the motherboard, of course, um, that cost me about 8,200 shekels. All right, well, we need to dismantle this here. All right, so what we have is, uh, this is the uh, system SSD with a... Um, uh, where the OS goes. We have a couple of SSDs here. So these are going to go on the side here. Uh, the graphics card, which is a, a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Very well, very good for its time. And power supply here is a Corsair AGX 850i, which is like a high-end model of the time, but you know, power supply that's good. I hope it's going to stay good. Um, funny thing, this, it didn't exist, I don't think it existed, uh, back in 2016, 2018 when I bought it. The computer's from 2016, but about a year or two into it, um, I fried my power supply. Uh, not intentionally, not, not actively, just that my electrical system at home went berserk and fried it. So I bought a new power supply and I bought a really expensive one so that I, I knew I would be able to keep it um, in my next build, which is what's happening now. This 850 watt thing, I think will be able to serve me like in the coming decade even. If it doesn't fail, I don't think my, my um, needs are gonna um, expand by that much. Alright, I'm gonna put all these screws though, so that I don't lose them. Let's do this. Alright. And it is out. And it is dusty. I do like the idea of keeping as many components as I can. Components, components that don't like really matter with the performance. Or rather, I mean, of course it matters, but I don't need like a new SSD. That's not um, a new system SSD. That's not the reason why I upgraded. Um, I didn't really need a new cooler. Like I was, my plan was to run the old cooler and then like measure the temperatures, see what's up. And if it's, still hot, then, then I would have gotten a new cooler, but I was not able to mount it, to mount it on my new CPU. And that's why we're here with a new cooler. But I, I would have kept this otherwise. I'm going to sell it now. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to need a new system SSD, obviously. Um, what did I just move? Oh. The graphics card. It's kind of hard 
doing this while talking to you all at the same time. What do you mean? Oh, you all, I mean myself. You happen to be listening. Um, there's still no one at the Zoom, right? Yeah, it's just me there. All right. Let's... You know what? I'm going to give you all a treat. What we're going to do here is we're going to blow the air out of this graphics card. This is, yeah, this is the view from my uh, work room, from my office. And we're going to blow some air. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Apologies for the noise. Oh my god. It's so much cleaner. It's still not perfect. Um, should I get it perfect? I think I would. I, w I think I will. Maybe not now though, because you'll you will all be bored. Yeah, so that's that. That's much cleaner now. Oh, I'm so happy I did this, and I'm so sorry for the noise. Um, saying that to you all, to the viewers, and to my neighbors. Sorry, neighbors. Um, I'm going to do the same for the cooler here. For the, yeah, for the old cooler. I'm not going to be using it now. But why not, like, blow the air out of it while I can? I am going to sell it. So why not give it a good clean? Right? Oh, this is kind of scary here. Having the, um, computer on a ledge. Um... Oh my fuck. You really need to get in there, you know? Wow. That is disgusting. And it's not over. There's more. Like, every time I point the blower in another direction it finds like another reservoir of dust to blow out i guarantee you this is not over there we go look disgusting oh my god still not over. It's still dust to be blown. <sighs> well, I'm going to wrap this part up in a minute. Um, yeah. All right. <sighs> Thank God I don't have like a dust allergy. Seriously. This would have killed me. Whew. Back here. <laughs> you can still see the dust floating in the room. It's crazy. Is this better? Slightly. Not really. Nope. This is ironically better. All right. Look, this is, I think this is the, the VRM here <clears throat> oh my god i'm like i have dusty net hands now um what do i need from here basically the hard drives and ssds and the system ssd which is here how do i do that i forgot how to do that um yeah so i bought this one this is a samsung 950 pro uh back in 2016 when i built this computer i okay great i i didn't even change camera so i bought this 
Samsung 950 Pro SSD uh, back in 2016 when I built it. And it was super fast. And according to the current benchmarks, it's still pretty good. So I'm not going to change it. Um, I'm keeping this. And you know, in fact, I'm going to try to boot Windows from it without reinstalling first. See if it works. Um, then I could do all the software stuff quietly without worrying if, if I'm boring you guys or not. Um, okay. Yep. How do I get this out of here? <laughs> Shit. It looks like I'm supposed to be turning it. <sighs> well, I cut my nail. Um, how's that going then? I'm going to have to revert back to, to this motherboard's uh, instructions, you know? Which I keep handy, and I'm happy about that. Because, um, you know, when you do this, you don't have a computer to rely on. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at the build instructions here. just the features that's not the that's not the instruction manual I might not have the instruction manual what do we have here quick start how do you quick start with a motherboard that's really stupid it's a concept I don't know of all right let's put that aside it's not helping me. Um, can I just like pull it out? Is that gonna work? No. I'm really scared. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something drastic. I'm sure this is not what the instructions want you to do on the old case. I'm gonna do them anyway. Uh, there are a couple screws here. I'm gonna. This is supposed to be like an, a no-tool build, the old computer, I mean, partly. And uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to use tools to dismantle it, um, just because it's, it's easier right now. So that I don't have to figure out things with the old motherboard. Um, I'm just going to do that to pull the SSD out. Ta-da! And then, bam, SSD is out. I will figure out the mechanism later, uh, but it's not important for me right now. So as a city, I'm going to put that aside. Um, let's put this back in. Uh, you know, let's have a look. Maybe you are supposed to turn it. Let's try that. I might break it. If I break it, it's, well, all the more entertaining to you. So I'm gonna, ta-da, yep, that would have worked. Um. <laughs> but I'm sure there's like a better way. I'm sure there is. Um, not right now. All right. Sorry, just checking my phone. Um, okay, let's put this back. Let's not do this on the new computer. I would love to not ruin the new computer. Let's do this. I also have like this. Yeah, we have... Multiple cameras, multiple angles, multiple scenes. So this is exciting, isn't it? At least now if I forget something, if I forget to change camera angles, <coughs> sorry about that, um, then you'll be able to see at least something. Um, two cards here, what do we have? Uh, one is just extra USBs, and the other is actually important, and I need to take it to the um, 
to bring it over to the new build. This is a Firewire card. I need this because I do stuff with Firewire. Um, I connect old camcorders or uh, other various tape-based players that require this, and this helps. So I'm going to need this here on the side. Oh, we haven't blown air through the, um, through the power supply, have we? I don't think we have. So, back to the window. <laughs> <laughs> Much cleaner, much cleaner. Um, gotta give credit to the filter that's in the bottom of the case. Much, much cleaner. All right, that's great. Okay, now I gotta keep the window open, so, you know. All the dust will blow out and won't stay here. Um, so the RAM, the CPU, the cooler, and the motherboard are going to stay in this case. I don't need them. I'm going to sell them all. Hope, any, hope somebody buys them. All right. Uh, let's flip it over. Actually, we don't have to flip it over. We can just, we can just let it stand. I'm going to open the other side so that I can take out the couple SSDs that are in here. So remember earlier when I talked about the panel, the side panel? I mean, it's solid, it's heavy, and it's strong. It wobbles just a bit, but the sound is meh. Whereas the new one, the new one sounds really good. The new side panel wherever it may be. There it is. It's just very solid, very quiet. I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Um, suck some stuff. I may not need this computer right now, but I'm gonna touch it, so. I would rather it be uh, clean enough for my hands. I'm going to wash my hands soon. I'll leave you guys for a minute. Okay. So the SSDs and the hard drives are here connected. And that's going to be a bit tricky to disconnect. A little bit afraid. Um, let's do this. Because these hard drives here, these two big ones, are connected in RAID, which means they're mirrored. So whatever is on here is automatically written down here as well. And the reason is, this holds my, uh, my photos. And my photos are my most valuable possessions, valued possessions. All right, but it's all backed up somewhere else. So me disconnecting the raid means that they are no longer mirrored. And when I connect them later on, they will be wiped. And I'll have to bring back all the data um, from later on. Okay, the zoom has ended. I'm going to launch it anyway. I'm going to change the link. All right. Um, we have some comments here. Uh, <laughs> Limo asks what uh, vacuum this is. It's a Dyson... It's a Dyson DC-34. Wait, what camera am I on? Yeah, Dyson DC-34. 
Um, bought it secondhand on eBay, and it works great. Let's see, other questions. Um, we have Alon saying that it all looks good, and I'm very happy about that. Thank you, man. Uh, the specs. The specs, well, let's, let's run through both computers. The old specs, the one that I'm getting rid of. It's a uh, Intel i7 core, uh, how many cores? Four cores, it's a quad core, yeah? I think it is a quad core. Uh, eight threads, uh, 5930K, I think. So it's like, it's got like 40 PCIe lanes or whatever. Um, it's a Gigabyte uh, X99 motherboard. Nothing su super special about that. We got 32 gigs of RAM, two sticks of 16. Uh, hard drives don't matter right now. Uh, we've got a Corsair H H80i cooler, I think. It's a dual fan, single radiator, uh, like a single fan radiator size. I think it's 140, whatever. It barely fit in here. When I bought it and I managed to fit, oh, sorry. It's four sticks of eight gigabytes, right? I think so. Anyway. Sorry. Uh, when I bought this cooler, it just fit in this case. And that was, um, I was very thankful for that. It barely did. Um, well, let's take out these hard drives. And they stay with me for the new build. The new computer. Let's talk about the specs of the new computer. I certainly said that already, but um, you're probably new to the stream alone. Um, it's uh, it's an AMD build. It's the first time I've ever built an AMD-based computer. I moved to Team Red. <laughs> um, it's an AMD 5950X CPU, which means it's got 16 cores, 32 threads. It's really fast, so they say. Um... I'm missing a rail, there we go. Um, 16 core, 32 threads. What else? Um, I'm gonna have 128 gigs of RAM. <laughs> That's right. It's a lot, a lot of RAM. Um, reason why I did this, um, it's the maximum that this build can hold. And if I don't do it now, I'm probably never gonna do it. I, th I was thinking, oh, I'll get 64 gigs, and then like in a year or two, the prices will come down, on, and then I'll upgrade to 128. Um, but I know myself, it's not happening. Uh, it didn't happen with the previous build. 32 gigs w was plenty. It really was. <clears throat> um, but, you know, at these little times when I, I just needed that extra oomph, um, I didn't have all the RAM that I wanted. Sorry, I just left it. Wash my hands. They're so dusty. <laughs> um, oh yeah, come back. So I thought, well, I, I want to utilize the maximum. And I'm not going to wait a year to do that. Might as well just buy it now. Plus, you know, I was thinking I'm saving up on all these other components that I'm keeping, like the, the power supply, the graphics card, and everything else. Uh, the SSDs. Um, so I'm not really, I, I, I can afford this extra cost and to just like maximize the, the RAM. Uh, the case is a Fractal Define 7. It's a gorgeous silent case. Uh, the silent does come at a cost of thermals, but the CPU doesn't, isn't supposed to run that hot, so I don't mind. And this also, this case is also like my end game case. I don't think, I don't see any reason that um, I will replace it ever. A lot of dust <laughs> uh, crept into it while we were uh, blowing through the other stuff. Um, yeah, so this is gonna like be my end game case. So all these like little um, factors uh, decided that I'm gonna max out my, my RAM. Keeping my old SSD, which is a Samsung 950 Pro, 520, 512 meg, uh, gigs. Um, yeah. Um, let's start. So, first step. 
We're actually actually building now. We've we finished dismantling the old one. We finished unboxing, and we're starting the build. And the first step was to install the power supply. So we're going to do that. Install the power supply. Uh, remove the two screws here. So we're going to do that. Let's do. Let's do this. Shit. This is. Oh yeah. Okay. It's coming. All right. Now. Oh, I'm supposed to stick it to this side? That's not happening, is it? Oh, the four Phillips. So I'm gonna... They want me to install the power supply here. Okay. I'm gonna use my old screws, because I have plenty of them. I have so many spares from other builds. Exciting! Finally building it, huh? Wow. <clears throat> what happens next, though? Am I supposed to... How am I gonna run cables to the power supply? Interesting. I think I may have run out of things to say. Interesting. That almost never happens. Remove the top bracket. We've done, we've done that. We... Oh, they want us to remove the whole thing. So, top cover. It's coming off. This is really well built, I have to say. Being able to just, like, remove things without any tools. It's just exciting. It's like... Wow. And it all like fits really well. It's, it, it doesn't feel like it's flimsy or it's going to break. So now they want me to remove this. Ah, this will be with tools. Yeah. With tools. That's all right. Just a couple screws. I've had this screwdriver since, I think like 20, 25 years ago. That would make sense. It was a Radio Shack, actual Radio Shack um, toolkit for building computers and dismantling them. All right. Ooh, okay. So now it's going to give me so much access um, to route cables and whatnot. Exciting. Very exciting. Uh, install the I.O. shield. Um, there isn't one. <laughs> All right. On this motherboard. I think it comes with it, right? So that um, I don't need to install the shield. So that step is redundant right now. Uh, prepare the motherboard. That means with CPU and everything. Okay, let's set that aside for now. Gorgeous thing, isn't it? All right, prepare the motherboard. This is gonna be the most terrifying part, I think, because let's, let's set the motherboard on this anti-static bag so that we don't damage it. <clears throat> so, most terrifying part, because I'm going to be installing the CPU, and I think the cooler as well. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll save the cooler for later. Shit. That's probably like a big decision, right? Um, okay, one of the things we need to do with the motherboard here is to install the SSD. Great. Um, shit, what do I do with the cooler? Do I install it now? It's like an all-in-one. It's like... It's gonna bother me. I think I'm gonna save that for later, you know? Too small. 
Any new comments? No new comments. All right. Ta-da. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. So there's like a, like a heat spreader, I think. Is that right? Uh, I'm gonna have to move. That's like to cool the SSD. Interesting. And I'm able to move the SSD um, riser thing like forward so that I can, it can fit here and like hold it well. Um, is that in the accessories box? We will see. <clears throat> Where is the accessories box? <laughs> this room is tiny and yet I managed to misplace a giant, giant cardboard box. Oh wait, that's, no, that's the case. That's the case accessories. Um, motherboard accessories are in the motherboard box. And is there a riser for the SSD? It looks like there is. It's probably it. I'm gonna consult the manual <laughs> so that I don't use a part that I accidentally will need later. Box contents. Standoffs, it's called. Standoff. M.2 screw uh, standoff. It's not gonna tell me which bag it is, but I can visually say that this is what it is. Right? So that's what the screw is there for as well. So here I am using these two things and these two stupid plastic bags. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna use the standoff. I thought I was supposed to move the screw here, but that's a mistake. Why? A, because the box gave me spares. And B, because the thing that will stand on top of it and, and, and you know, close it. We'll still need to screw down to the motherboard. So, <coughs> good thing I didn't forcefully remove it. Might have been possible, but would have been an ultimately stupid decision to do. All right. I am installing the SSD. Am I doing it right even? Yeah, probably. I heard a little click. Push it down, screw it down. It is in place, and now I'm gonna cover it. Which is another heat sink. I did not have that on my previous computer. So my SSD is gonna run a little cooler. Will it make a difference? I have no idea. Okay. Most terrifying part now is the uh, processor. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. You know, I've never done this with an AMD one before, AMD processor. And I'm not sure which way to orient it. Ah, I see like a little tiny um, triangle here, and there is a corresponding triangle there, which means it is sideways. Yes, it makes sense because there's um, a couple holes there. I need to raise this. CPU installed. Um, that's just half the terrifying part. The rest of the terrifying part would be to install the pump, the CPU cooler and pump. Um, let's do the memory. So we've got these four sticks of 32 gigabytes each. Yeah, yeah, like, I hear you, man. 
<laughs> I also wish there was a way to unit test it all. Um, but we're just hoping. Clickety clack. All right, so from what I gather, you're just supposed to push the memory stick down until you hear a click. There we go. Am I pointed in the right direction? Sort of. So let's push it and yes, that is properly in place. This is not as terrifying as the other steps. What I like, what I don't like, like here, is that the RAM sticks are so close together. They're going to get warm at some point, you know. Um, they're going to run hot. They're also pretty fast. They're at 3200 megahertz each. And this will be run in dual channel. The um, <clears throat> Originally, I was going for a Threadripper build. Same 16 cores. They will run a little faster, but they're of an older architecture. So that was like a... And also, of course, it'll also run much hotter. So that was a, a trade-off that I was willing uh, to forego. Because um, it would have been more expensive, hotter, harder to cool. And um, yeah, just everything more expensive. And this CPU is supposed to give me very similar... Um, performance for less money. So that's how I was also able to upgrade to um, 128 gigs of RAM instead of just 64. When I say just 64, I sound really bad, don't I? Um, okay, I have prepared the motherboard as much as I can right now. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do need to install the cooler because I will need and it will be open. No, I'm going to I'm going to set up the motherboard. I'm going to install the motherboard, motherboard right now. <clears throat> I'm going to install the cooler while the board is in the case. So, uh install the motherboard assembly. There we go. I'm going to have going to need eight screws to hold it down. Um reason the board is on an anti-static bag so that I don't fry it in, uh, accidentally. Um, so it's going to stay on this bag until I finish mounting it inside <coughs> the case, uh, which is going to happen right now. This is very convenient um, to have the top of the case open like that. All right. Tricky, tricky to mount it just right, you know. So stressful. Oh, it needs to come down a little bit. Like, how do you hold it? Like, what do I grab? <laughs> so scary, you know? Let's take these two out. <coughs> these two PCIe shields out so I can pull the, the motherboard from this side towards the back plate. All right, now I'm able to, oh, not really. It's still really hard to do. Something's stuck. Shit. Something is really, really stuck. I don't know what. these noises you know be happy that I I go through this and not you guys I think maybe the IO shield is supposed to come off you know no it's, it's screwed in place so no let's 
try it again. Oh yeah, I think, I think we got it. It bends the board a little bit. I don't like that. I really don't. Um, this is from the motherboard. That's right. Um, some cable ties, some risers. Standoffs, they're called actually. And a lot of screws. Are these it? They certainly look like it. Actually, these are it. I'm gonna go back to the contents and see what's up. No, oh, that's the case stuff. Wait, I need to look at the motherboard stuff. Wait, no, that came with the case stuff. Sorry, I was right the first time. Oh, there we go. Um, no, these are for drives. Okay, good thing I looked. Mounting screw, 632, it doesn't say. It's not these. Yeah, I think it's these. I have 15 of those. Looks like 15. So I'm gonna be using those screws. Scary, but let's go. Okay. It still bends it a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna ruin the board, aren't I? The finger. That's what she said. You know, clearly something is not letting me do this. As I said, the board is bending a little bit. And I'm not confident I did this right. Although who knows? Right? Wait, that's not even a hole. I think that might be the reason. There's a stand up here with a little thing, and I think that's what eventually made it wobble. Uh, mini ITX. I'm gonna have to pull it to see what's up. So I can look closely at the standoff, which I think is generating that wobble. I just wish these things were more straightforward, but they aren't. <sighs> it just wobbles. I mean, it's, it's taller than the other ones. I'm gonna install a regular standoff there and hope See, that's, that's the difference. Sorry. So maybe that was creating the wobble. And it's good for ITX, for mini ITX, I don't know. Let's 
try it now. Uh, much less wobble, I will say. All right, let's install. And that's also the reason why the screw wouldn't go inside. <laughs> There's no hole, there was no thread in there. Um, what if we do this? It's boring, isn't it? This side. All right. Yeah, less wobble and everything seems to be in place. I'm going to screw it down with as many screws I can because because why not <laughs> oh man you know what's coming later all the CPU headers and whatever the um, fan headers and all the front IO buttons which is a little less straightforward than you'd think. You don't have to like really find the pins on the motherboard. Whoever's still here, like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for going through this with me. It's crazy. Three viewers is more than, more than I thought I'd have. It's exactly three more than what I thought I'd have. I'm getting really hungry, by the way. This little tool that can pick up screws that fell down. Oh, it's struggling with this one. There we go. Let's try to orient it in the right direction. I'm actually here right now. If y'all can see. <clears throat> okay, uh, two screw, three screws remaining. Okay, one here. Last one, right? Last one, yeah. Okay, motherboard is mounted and mounted well. Um, this is what the back IO, the rear IO looks like. And this is already like ready for the graphics card. It's gonna come soon. Okie dokie. Um, next, install the motherboard. Install the graphics card. That's gonna be really easy compared to what we've done already. Oh, it's not the right two slots. Okay. It amazes me how these things are so standardized in terms of engineering, you know? Everything fits, like, there's all these manufacturers um, making these cases and these cards and just everything fits. And that, I think, is kind of incredible. And, like, back in the day and, like, until, like, the 90s, early to mid-90s, all the computers were super proprietary. All the 
accessories were not interchangeable from one computer system to another and often not even from one computer to another from the same manufacturer all right um graphics card is installed well now the 2.5 inch drives which are my content ssds not system ssd because that one's already installed and these go in the rear so can you see correctly almost let me move this there we go okay so these ssds are right here it's a two terabyte and a four terabyte and if you think i'm insane thank you i appreciate it um how does one do that <laughs> Are these brackets removable? Let's see. Uh, you have to twist it out. Oh, I see. That's clever. All right, so you take these out. They're very hard inside. All right, and take this out. Oh, nice. And then you're supposed to mount it that way. And then it just like slides down there like a card. So let's do that. all these screws for that task you don't really need more than one or two but you know might as well for these things let's grab that just like to speed things up a little bit with with uh repeating tasks such as this you know it's magnetic and like don't want to run it any faster so i don't damage anything but just like to speed things up second drive cool no. oh, shit. I need this let's not lose you some music but you are here with me now so you know what I would love if you guys joined the zoom and we can talk like talk to me physically all right which one I'm gonna put where oh man I don't know oh that's why we got the the SATA cables here um let's see one we're gonna have to bring another one. Where did it go? Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter which side they're on because nobody's gonna see them. The whole case is like closed off. It's, it's there's no windows here, so it doesn't really matter. I guess though, I would like to print labels for them on the outside so I know which one is which I think this is the newer one the four terabytes I don't really know uh yeah, yeah I see you yeah okay you were talking about um static electricity into how to avoid them but uh i will want to pass cables through back but the whole thing is you know there, there there's like these holes 
all along the case. Um, so the cables will be able to route it back. I'm not going to be able to route any cables through this area anyway. Like, this is closed off. The, the motherboard is here, you know. So um, that's not going to prevent me from doing that. I don't think any case will require you to remove the motherboard in order to, in order to install uh, additional hard drives. Um, or, or, or SSDs, for that matter. Um, let's see. There's supposed to be more SATA stuff here, I think. Oh, this, is this, just, this is just power. Where does this go? This goes here. Is there more? Let's see, fan two. There's like um this thing here gives you access to like front for, to, to, to things that you can access in front here um, to the back easily. I just need to figure out how to find more SATA power. Although I can like route it through the bottom here. Share this. Is this screwed in place or what the hell's going on here? I'm doing something wrong on this side. That's for sure. Let me look at the... Yep, you're supposed to just push down. It makes no sense to me though. It looks like... Oh my god. I'm gonna break it. It just says to, to do that, but obviously that's not working. So just pull. Um, oh, well, they were right. Yeah, so I'm gonna be able to access the power supply from here and uh, route some power to my SATA cables here. I'm not sure what this does though. As it connects here to what's called power 12 volt, ground 5 volt. Probably gonna leave this as is right now and not connect the SATA to it. I'm gonna use my power supply to do that. All right, so they want us to in install the other drives. Um, there's two brackets here. Um, or rails, should I say. Um, install the drives. Uh, these are caddies as well. Oh, beautiful. This is just beautiful. This is really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, how though? <laughs> I see like it, you know, you can find the screws here, but if I put a screw here, it's still gonna... Oh, I think they want us to use these little rubbery things to minimize vibrations. There we go. So basically, I'm gonna... That's why it's like a like has like a Mickey Mouse ear to it. <laughs> Hi Nitsan, thank you for the silly comment. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. It's gonna prevent vibrations. Ah yes, and I now I know which screws they want me to use too. They're they have a like a wider head. So. All right, so install the, the rubbery um, dampeners there with the SATA accessible on the back. And now with these holes mounted, uh, aligned, I'm going to use these screws, which are slightly longer and slightly wider on the head, which will prevent vibrations in the case. Gorgeous, I did tell you. So this case is, is um, silence optimized, not performance optimized. So I'm going to sacrifice my thermals 
I, I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again because we have new viewers here. I'm sacrificing my thermals so that I can um, have a quieter operation. This is also why I bought um, uh, 300, not 360, 420 cooler, uh, 420 mil, mil cooler. Um, more fans, but they will run at a lower speed. So hopefully they will be quieter than what I had now, until now which is a uh, dual fan 140 mil um, <coughs> shit, a radiator, which ran faster. This is a beautiful design, the way that these are mounted so that you can have a silent operation. Yeah, um, let's get the rubber dampeners in here <coughs> really really cool thoughtful design and you get everything you need um, for years to come because this case with with everything that's included in it in it will um allow you to install like me i think 13 drives something ridiculous like that nothing that i need right now um, it's been a while since I needed a lot of drives. I've since opted to have <coughs> fewer but larger drives. So these are 12 terabytes. I used to have 4 times 3, now I have 2 times 12. And I think in the future I'm going to have like 2 times 20 or something like that. So fewer drives, it's going to be more silent, it's going to require less cooling, less power. Um, There's also like uh, priority of mine. I didn't want like a really hot um, CPU for like this 5% performance boost or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So we have these mounted. I'm going to slide them in. One here. One here. Beautiful. And I'm going to screw them in place using something using a something which I cannot find right now. Oh, is my face red? <laughs> the screws are on it. So the hard drives are mounted and it's perfect. <sighs> Next step, all the hard drives are in. That's as far as this goes, um, the basic steps. The optional ones we've talked about. Um, I don't need to relocate the hard drive cages. This is like, because this thing will, will hold like custom loops, uh, 13 hard drives if you need them. Uh, it, it sacrifices like space in other areas of the case. But um, my build is going to be very, very, very basic. Just like um, two hard drives, two SSDs, two, one uh, M.2 SSD. No optical drive, no custom water cooling loop, anything. So from here on out, this is just me figuring it out. Um, what to install when. Where did this come from? Shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Things are falling. I want to keep it organized. I really, really do. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of cable management. I don't have that many cables in this system. Which I guess benefits the cooling. Alright. Now we're going to have to, I think... Oh, well, let's do this PCI card. Um, it's starting to be heavy. And it doesn't even have the power supply and the cooler yet. <laughs> Shit. All right. We have a tiny PCIe uh, times four card down there. I'm going to use that. I hope it didn't short anything out. I'm 
I'm so smart. Okie dokie. Yeah, fine, while I'm at it, I'll put this back in place. Mm. Mm. This is gonna be um, um, a motif throughout the day me dropping screws on top of things. Let's just hope I don't kill the CPU somehow. Okay. Um, cooling. I'm gonna go with the top cooling. It's gonna benefit, it's gonna be benefit everything except maybe like dust and aesthetics. Cause we have, gonna have intake from here, outtake here, and also throughout the radiators here. Uh, the three fans are gonna be here. Right. Um, so let's get the cooler. I'll be done for the. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't connected the SSDs. <sighs> All right. It didn't say when to install the, the power supply, but I'm sure that was like the first step that I forgot. So let's do that. On the bottom, we have a filter down there. Um, bunch of cables here. I'm gonna unpack them. Bunch of stuff here. Okay. What's that? Hmm. <sighs> There's some unknown cables here. There's uh, this is a, a USB three pin out thing, which, when connected to the motherboard, will supply the um, the front panel I/O here with USB. Um, I'm going to run it through. Where is it on our motherboard, actually? Let's start with that. I'm sorry if you're not going to be able to see this properly, but I promise this is not very interesting anyway. Yeah, so it's going to come from the bottom of the case. Oh, the motherboard, sorry. Yeah. So... Yeah, we have a, a few USB outputs here. It's a bit, it's gonna be a bit hard to do. Okay. All right, front panel USB is hooked. What about the rest of the stuff? Um, HD audio, I'm not gonna need that because I have uh, an external audio card, right? So I'm, I'm probably not gonna be using the headphone jack there anyway. It's just gonna confuse me. I'm not gonna connect this. Uh, we have other stuff like reset and whatever. All these should come from the bottom. What is this anyway? There's this unknown cable I'm gonna show you in a minute. And if anybody can help me identify it, Greatly appreciate it. Okay. So this is USB 2. Who cares about USB 2? God damn. Uh, it's too far away. Oh, there is it. There, I know what that is. That is... Let me show you what I meant. So this... All these I know. This, I do not know. But I see something here 
which is F USB 3.1 C. I'm guessing it means front USB 3.1 type C. And um, that is it, and it's reversible. So it really does look at, like it's gonna be that. I'm gonna have to bring it from another area of the case, like from here, not from under there. So that goes back down. Sorry, this next bit might not be as interesting to watch as the others. Certainly not from this angle. Okay. We have, not yet, <laughs> premature. We have front panel USB-C. Cool. It's a dedicated connection on the motherboard. Interesting. This we said HD audio. I'm gonna keep this here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even route it to the front of the case. I'm gonna keep it under the hard drives. Um, USB 2 though. That, we might want USB 2 at the front of the case. I don't know. Uh, no new comments. Let's continue. So this USB 2 is just gonna make it, just gonna make it to the motherboard. Sorry about all these thumping, it's the wobbly desk. All right, and we have that connected as well. Cool. Um, I don't like the way the USB cable comes from this area, but it's gonna have to stay that way because SATA comes from here. Actually, might not mind, might not mind. And the rest, we have reset switch, power switch, and power LED. What about, what about hard drive LEDs? Do they, do they not exist anymore? Okay, to understand the pinout on the motherboard, we're gonna need the motherboard uh, guide, which is where exactly? Found it. Um. <clears throat> okay, found it. Um. Yeah, there is a that that was indeed a USB Type C header with USB 3.2 Gen 2 support. That's gonna be fucking fast. All right, we've got the pin out for the um, LEDs and shit. There is a hard drive activity LED. I'm not sure this uh, case supports it though. Otherwise, it would have been in this little uh, sleeve. All right, so reset switch. Let's do. Those two. Um, I don't know which one is positive here. Fuck. I don't know. They're not marked, these two cables. Maybe it doesn't matter? It probably matters. I'm probably fucking this up. The power switch. Like, how do I know which one's positive, which one's negative? It doesn't say on the cable. Uh, that is, that is weird. There's a plus and minus on the power LED and one of them is painted white slightly. That is not helping me at all. Usually they're, they're marked, they're colored in some fashion. <laughs> Let's refer back to the case.
It's not helping me. What if I get them wrong? It just won't work, right? I really hope that nothing bad will come out of it. Oh, this is, um, this is worrisome. I'm worried. It, it has no information about the polarity of these cables. I'm just going to hope that the um, writing has to point upwards. Shit. I don't like it. I do not like it. It doesn't say. All right. Let's, let's just do this. All right, what were you saying earlier about being able to unit test things? This is something I would certainly want to be able to test really quickly and really easily. Uh, power switch right above it. Okay. And these are the power LEDs. I'm not moving the camera over because it's really not interesting. This is just bullshit stuff. So this one is the... When, when more stuff, more interesting stuff happens, I will move the camera accordingly. Okay. I think I'm done with the front panel. Next. Power supply again. Oh, yes. So I've finished going through the cables that were waiting for me down here. Now I'm able to slide the power, the power supply. Um, what happens here? That's the uh, caddies. Okay. So all the power cables are going to be routed through the back. Okay, then. Whee. Oh, that's clever. There's like rubber feet here to, um, again, to minimize vibrations. Very fucking clever, I have to say. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna have to bring back my old computer again to take all the power supply cables. Okay, it's in. It is in. Not having the top part really makes it hard to know where to grab it. Um, okay. I'm gonna go grab some water, so I'll be back in a minute. You're still with me, by the way. But I'm, not, I'm not with you. And they're still dusty. Hmm. You know what? I'll grab myself some ice cream as well. Sorry, not seeing this. Sugar to get me going, you know. This word the jinx, that that's the part where I confess my murders, right? How long have we been streaming? Two hours. 
Jesus. And we're not really close to being done. Uh, but we kind of are, maybe. Okay, let's grab the old computer back. Which is lighter now. We just have to steal back all these cables. All these power cables and whatnot. Wonder, <clears throat> as a first time AMD builder, <clears throat> if there's anything that I, like, I need to do differently. <sighs> Salvaging power cables, leaving this computer bare. Absolutely no power. There we go. I think that's it. Now there's another one. Mm. I'm going to want to clean them real quick. <clears throat> real quick. Be right back. No, actually, I'll bring the wipes over here. So we can all clean them together. It's absolutely the most boring part of the build. Unboxing is fun, and hooking things up is fun when you know how to do them, and you have proper instructions, and you're not guessing the polarities. But. Cleaning cables from dust has to be, like, the low point of any computer build. <clears throat> and they're so ugly, too. So I'm kind of happy that these are going to stay, like, on this side. As I said, not that this case is um, about showing off the internals. It's all blocked off. But um, when I do have to open it, to change stuff, to clean stuff. Uh, it's gonna be nice to know that these are hidden away, tucked away, and uh, hopefully, hopefully they won't get as dusty, because this computer is more closed off, uh, more filtered in every direction. Um, so not so much dust will um, find its way inside the case, hopefully. <sighs> Hey, Dan. Uh, well, hope it will work out for you better than it's working out for me now. It is kind of fun to do and to know that, like, obviously, like, when you build your own IKEA furniture, you're kind of more connected to it. And uh, I feel the same way towards uh, the PC. Um, I built it. I know, like, it's there's, like, a deeper connection to it. And apart from that, if anything goes wrong, I know exactly um, how it's built, how to fix it, if there's any noise, if there's any malfunction. Um, what am I doing? I do need the other side. If there's anything like that, you know, um, I know where things are. <clears throat> um, and I can upgrade them on my own. Don't have to call anyone. Um, you know, to each their own. Uh, I'm just like more DIY oriented that way. Um, okay, so we're back on the motherboard um, instructions. And we're going to look at how to install stuff like power. <laughs> um, no oh, man, the cooler is going to go in last, for sure. That's going to be stressful with the thermal paste and everything. Uh, installed all these things. Installed these things, too. Internal connectors. There we go. Internal connectors is what I need to, to be doing. Oh. It threw me out of Facebook. 
still streaming though, right? It says I am. Just a second. Logging back in so I can view your comments and talk to you while we do this. Hmm. Are we still in it? Yes, we are. Cool. All right. Um, okay. So, where were we? We were here. Internal connectors. Sorry. So I'm going to be able... I'm going to have to, like, connect the power supply and shit. Ah, oh, there's fan headers, too. Fuck, that's right. <sighs> okay, this is going to take a little while. But let's try to enjoy it. I think this is, like, the part I hate most. Because it's, like, motherboard stuff. You know, and ca case two motherboard stuff. Um... What's one? ATX. I'm gonna have to... Locate the right cables. Oh, shit. It's gonna be annoying, isn't it? This is, like, not a good time to lay the case flat anymore. Um, because stuff needs to be touching here. Um, this looks like it belongs to this part. The side, though? Yeah. Come on. Click. Cool. So, let's move that back. Neat. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna need to do the fan stuff. Oh god. Fine, let's do them right now. Get them over with. I'm pulling them from the back, from the rear. Oh, it's actually the back. This is the rear. I do realize my energies have somewhat fallen since I started doing this. That's understandable though, right? Talking to myself for two hours, no breaks, like nobody's talking to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm pulling the two fan cables, these two fans, um, right back through here, right? Because where are the fan headers? Um, fan, fan, fan. <clears throat> Boring parts. I'm looking to... Yes, uh, chassis fan. Cool. That's where they go. System fan, that's what they call it. So, yeah, I'm going to pull them through here. And through here. And... Oh, wait. That's like four through five. Where's one and two? I don't know why I'm doing this. Why, why, why do I care? Um, number four. It's all the way back here. No. I'm going to use these. So, it's going to be system fan. Two. And system fan. Four. Alright. So, presumably, these two fans here will get power once I um, run it. Um, okay, so this is hooked. That is what they call the ATX pinout. Now I need the ATX 12 volt, these two as well. And um, are these it? Or are these PCI Express? I think these are it. Oh, this is PCI Express. That will go to the graphics card. Let's do that already now. Click, click, and 
Third click, please. No, I need to take this one out first. All right. So this is for the graphics card. And let's route this through <coughs> this little window. It's all very clever, this, really. All right. So the graphics card will later hook into the thing. This is for um, drives. This is for drives. And this is supposedly the uh, ATX. I might need a another one from the contents of the power supply box. That's a also PCI Express. Am I supposed to hook both these up? Like there's twice here. ATX 12 bolt. There's so much stuff from the um, power supply box, stuff that came with it a few years back, and are still needed. Never throw these things away, really. Never, never do that. Um, so that's for no more drives, that's for older drives. This looks like it might be it. This is CPU. What does that mean? PCIe. Um, shit. Well, I think I'm going to need to research this before I connect it. Um, it's not going to let me connect something that's not right, right? What does this say? This also says CPU. So I'm going to trust that this does like got a very, you know, particularly shaped connector. Um, it's not going to let me connect it unless it really does belong in there. It does belong in there. So here I am unboxing this um, other cable, which has the same pin out. And it fits. Oh my god. Industry working together. Um, you know, a power supply that I bought a few years back. Look at how it really like works out with um, with the new motherboard from now. So I'm going to route the cables nicely here. There's another window for cable management above, which is nice. Very nice. Keeping it super clean. This is disgusting though. This is disgusting. Um, Oh, is that, this could be four? Never mind. Forget it. Uh, I'm going to put these aside. Um, so I connected more power stuff there. Um, ATX, ATX, CPU fan. That comes later. That's with the cooling. Um, system fan. I did those. Oh, shit. It says... Pump? System fan 5 and 6 are pumps? Um, system fan 4, system fan 2. Oh, that's okay. 5 is for the pump, and I'm not using it right now. So 2 and 4 are just fans here. Cool. CPU opt. What's that? What's CPU opt? Optional fan? What is that? Um, do we have an explanation here? Yes, we will. Water cooling CPU fan header. All right. Well, the Zoom has ended, uh, but since nobody joined in, I'm just going to keep it closed. I was hoping for some dialogue, but oh well. Um... We'll have dialogue in text, like 
before. Um, okay, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I want to sit down for a bit. My back is killing me from standing up and leaning over so much. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's a CPU Opt as a water cooling fan header. I'm going to probably use that. Sorry, later on. Um, temperature sensors. We're going to need them later. RGB LED strip headers. Wow. No. <laughs> We're not going to use those. <coughs> we don't have RGB here. Because this will be closed off. Um, SATA. SATA 3. Yes, we'll need that in a minute. Yes. M.2 sockets. Already did. Front panel headers did. Hopefully correctly. TPM. That's a security thing. I don't, I'm not going to need that. Battery. Cool. Noise sensor. Oh, we have a noise detection header. That's interesting. Um, it's up here. But I don't know what I want to do with it. Uh, clear CMOS and Thunderbolt add-in card. I don't have Thunderbolt cards. Cool. All right. So power is ready on this side. It's time to connect the power to the power supply. And then we'll connect the drives to the power supply. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Again, I don't want to lay it flat just yet. Um, so I'm going to do this. Yeah, can we all see? Yeah, looks fine, all right? Looks fine. Ah, <clears throat> okay. This is a bit annoying. Oh yeah, okay, we've got this side. Cool. All right. Um, let's move this away. So the power supply is here and we wanna connect stuff. So this is the 12 volt CPU. I'm gonna block the view a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but I kind of have to. So the 24 pin ATX. You know what? Let's try and do this the way they want me to do it. Which is more open like that. And then I stick it in. So, I just want to look at it first. <coughs> ah, that's right. That's what I wanted. The CPU. And 4 times 4 CPU. USB, what's that? No, that's USB, okay. Um, 24 ATX. No, now I'm confused because this says 24 pin ATX, that's this. Right? Um, but then what? These two, and these two. But the PCIe, where does the PCIe go? That's the PCIe, that's from the, oh shit, wait. From the graphics card, that's supposed to be just that. Is that all the pins that we had? Okay. I might not be running my my graphics card in the best way possible, you know? I'm gonna look into that later. But um, this will be, yeah, well, it's not going that way. 
<coughs> I might not be providing my graphics card with the full power that it requires. Um, I'll look into that later. Okay, so this is the CPU stuff. Huh, doesn't even fit. That's not good, is it? I may have connected it the other way around. Interesting. Because it doesn't clip. There's a sh like a thin clip and a thick one. And I think the thick one is supposed to be the one on this side. And I think I've reversed them. So it's correct. I love it how this just tells you um, that you know you know immediately if you're wrong before you try to power it up and blow shit up. Okay, so it's the same shape of connector, but unless you've got the, sh the thin end on the power supply side, you're not going to be able to connect it. Okay. That's it for the PCIe and the motherboard. Let's now do the drives. Okay. Um, let's see now. We need a couple to this side and a couple to this side. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to use two cables. We're not going to be able to use these two and then somehow pull these to the other side. to the All the way to the end here. So um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use two cables as I've had before. So we're not saving cables. But that's okay. I don't really care. It's the um, side which I will never ever see. <clears throat> and so here it will go to the SATA area. another one it's just connected already to this side there we go and power to these two um, Huh, not the greatest cable management, I will say. On my part, I'm sorry. Ugh, I feel like it's like pulling on it. I don't like it. I don't love it. And that's what we have right now. Alright, power supply is all connected. SATA cables time. Uh, I remember what I said earlier about using the SATA cables you always always get with your motherboard. Um, this is what we're going to do now. Four brand new SATA three six gigabit gigabit yeah I think so um, rated cables. Oh black, very much in line with the design of this case. If I were a maniac who wanted to do like a white build with windows and everything, like with open windows to, to look at the case and everything, uh, I would have needed new white cables. But no, thank you. Okay. So. One cable through here. Ooh, it's a bit tight. I'm going to block your view for a little bit, a bit, a little bit. Yeah. 
Eh. All right. So one cable here. Another cable here. All this shadow on the motherboard is on one side, right? I don't have like extra controllers or anything. Yep. Just that one area, so it doesn't really matter how I connect them. Um, Kiyoki. I was thinking because you know, I want to pick the right window to uh, route the cables through. But it's all going to be the same window because all this SATA is on one side of the board, like one one area. There aren't multiples of them. This is me just doing a little bit of cable management here. A little bit. Wrong window. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. Now I've got all this SATA going on. <sighs> well, we got one controller, so we don't have like. We have to optimize which way we we're going to connect each. So I'm just going to connect them wherever. You know? You know, I, I do want to like pick the two ones to put them in the same in the same like one above each other um so these two here are going to be the uh hard drives and these two here are going to be the ssds one above the other cool and just like push all the cables back there um, because cable management <laughs> okay presumably well minus the cooling the computer is ready to run shit can't believe we're we're that far ahead uh we might actually be done in the next like 20 30 minutes um, no new comments. Okay. Carrying on. Tum ta da! Let's unbox the cooler now. And this is gonna be the, the scariest part, I think. Um, I forgot to take a lot of pictures, you know? Good thing I have a video, but I'm not just a video guy, I'm also a pictures guy. <sighs> so, as I said, radiator, that's going to be mounted to the top of the case, that is to say, to this top bracket, which is going to be mounted here, um, bam, pump, okay. <clears throat> so we have the radiator and the pump is one unit, and then we're gonna uh, Let's get thermal paste already applied That's very good. And it's Corsair, so I trust it It's not some no-name cooler We have some stuff in here Some uh, bracket and some other brackets and some screws do we have instructions 
I would love some instructions on this part. What's that? That's USB. So connect the, cool, the cooler to the USB, the other USB too, which is otherwise unused. Good. Um, ah, yes. We unboxed it earlier. So we have the instructions here. So that's an Intel backplate. We don't need it. Because um, we're Team AMD right now. Mm. And what's this then? AM3, AM4. Uh, we are AM4. And that's that's the um, the socket type that we're using. So I am going to need this. It's not the same. Wait. Oh no. Huh? That's not it. Oh, there we go. So we're going to need these for AMD. The rest is Intel. And I don't care. Uh, that's a thread ripper mounting bracket. Don't need that either right now. I'm going to put that in another sleeve. Cool. Aw. Seems like I'm alone now. No one is viewing this stream right now. Well, one is. Cool. All right. And all the screws that we need. That's awesome. Uh, well, the thing already came with, with an Intel bracket pre-installed. How do we remove it? Um, because we don't want it. Ah, we're in the Intel section. There we go, AMD section. Cool. Cool. Do we have a screw clip? Do we have that? Yes, we do. All right. Um... We have some stuff for AMD. Installing the mounting bracket. Remove the integrated Intel mounting bracket, figure one. You just pull it out. <laughs> you just pull it. There we go. Scary. But it happened. I'm going to put that with the rest of the Intel stuff. No, that's the Intel stuff. Okie dokie. Intel is gone. Now, step two. Install. No. Okay. They're the same, right? Same. <sighs> but which side? Like this? would appear so. Okay. This is very scary to me. Whatever's happening here. Um, installing the fans and radiator. Spooky. All right. Since, like, we have the, the cooler instructions and we have the case instructions and, like, you have to, like, always know which way you're going and you have to like cross-reference everything to be sure that you're doing the right thing this is all very weird oh we did forget the power supply usb cable we'll get to that <sighs> so this is it right this is the way it's going to be installed there's two screws here that we took off earlier um, and I want to mount the cooler thus. I do wish I could like cover this for the time being, but no. 
Um, this is going to go that way, so let's mount the cooler that way. Luckily, this top bracket I was able to disassemble. Cool. So I'm just going to use how many screws? Attach the radiator fans as shown. Aw, hi Ariel, thank you. Thank you for staying so long with me. Um, as shown. Good, as shown. It's like really tiny. And like, I'm not sure how many screws I'm supposed to use. Oh wait, install the fans and radiators. First gonna go with the fans, right? So, oh, it's the same. Oh my God, this is gonna be annoying. I hate this already. Cooling is very stressful. And look, there's no RGB here. I love it. I just love it. No RGB, just like, just fans, only fans. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Um, Okie doke. So the screws that they want me to use are here. I'm going to take a seat again. This is taking a ah, major toll on my back. And this is, it's a tiny room and everything in here is it's crammed because we've got an old computer, a new computer, all these boxes. Um, Let's grab the organizer from earlier. And that's going to help me figure out what I'm going to do at each step. So let's offload these from the old computer. There's a corner here. All right. We got an assortment of stuff. Now, let's see. As shown. Fuck you with your as shown. I don't know what to do. This is the first time I'm installing such a radiator. Um, you know what? I'm be I bet this is catching dust already. I hope. This is a good idea. I truly hope. I shouldn't have done that first. I should have done radiators first. All right, let's do this. Um, so these are extremely long. These are... Oh, yeah. I have to watch the... Um, there's an arrow here somewhere. No. But I mean... What? Inside, maybe? Usually, in these cases, you will have like an arrow pointing which way the, the, the air is blowing. So I'm sure it's like the, the nice sticker side. Um... Yeah. All right. Well, uh, sorry about the boring part, really. As shown, fuck you. Like, it's really not helpful. This is a bad, bad installation guide. Seriously. Like, I have no idea what to do. So it's supposed to be like this. I'm gonna be using my, my hand, my uh, electrical drill soon.
But I'm really confused. I see these screws, but then what are these for? What's this? What the fuck, dude? Thanks, Ariel, with the OnlyFans joke. This is the only thing that's making me laugh right now. Seriously, you're supposed to connect... You're supposed to somehow attach the fans to the radiator and the radiator to the case. And re remember, this is like the... This is only thanks to the case being very modular. Otherwise, I would have had to, like, do this um, from the bottom up. And all this fucking guide says is attach the radiator and the fans as shown. For the best cooling performance, we recommend mounting the fans as an air intake to your PC case. Really? As an air intake? So it's going to suck from the top and then blow from the sides? From the front and back? An air intake. That's true, though, because, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, because uh, air outside the case is going to be cooler than air inside the case. So that actually makes a lot of sense. But these fucking fans won't even tell me the direction in which they're blowing. There's usually a fucking arrow. There's no arrow here. And I don't know which way is correct. I am going to... Him through this thing. Nothing. Absolutely no useful information. Fuck you, Corsair. This could have been so much easier. I'm gonna have to look at the internet. <clears throat> and you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome to another video. For those of you that have been on the channel for a while, you have probably yeah, seen my watching. main gaming rig which at the minute is going through a few changes and that is primarily due to the fact that we have some demon are up to low as well and last up of course we have the cooler itself on first glance i will say i definitely like the design it's not overly bulky and the silver accent is a nice touch and it will complement my attack of is it does hang at the pace stop with the but the process service is the exact same either way no matter what to the front or them together we are going to use these long screws that i will pass through the fans and catch the radiator so all you do from here until they are considered to as a job, you know, taking any over cook like milk, so I can go to. And of course, and then plugged in because the groove and push them in for this nice. You do eat as is the sun, do up what you want to do the fans and we're going to need one of these screws and for this insulation this is the correct way slide the screw through the fan then what you want to do is then just finger tighten the screws into the radiator itself i usually use two screws per fan to do this just to hold it into place here it does make it a little bit easier if you need to reposition it so you don't need to use a screwdriver straight off the bat Rinse and repeat this process for all three fans. Again, just do each corner just so you can align your radiator properly. Especially with this case, we get a lot of people asking about it because what you need to do with this case is slide the radiator all the way up for the front panel to go back on, then get a screwdriver and whiz up all the screws and then you should be good to go. Now, at this point, I would recommend pushing all the fan cables through to the back of the pump top. What we're going to do is line up the pump top with those standoffs and corner up very when we need to plug in the fans and all the RGB stuff. Okay, let's attach the pump top. Now we need some thumb nuts. You need all four here and you can screw these in, but I would recommend finger tightening them first. Basically, what we're going to do is line up the pump top with those standoffs that we pre for very long. Now it's all you want, right? Cable and the USB now that's left-handed on your motherboard. Split a cable and then plug the insulation later on. I'll attach it from these LGA 1700 standoffs because that's what I'm using for this video. The back wall. It looks like this. What we And it's a simple once all version of 
Well, that was not very helpful either. God damn it. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I, d I did try to lower the volume. <sighs> so, if I'm going to use intake, that means the fans are supposed to be on the top here. Sorry again about the volume, man. I did try to lower it. So it's going to be on this side. But then I'm not sure how am I supposed to do this to line this up first. I think that was the um, original intention, actually. Yeah, let's get another one. Oh, these big screws are for the pump. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need the other ones here as well. Oh boy. Sure, the other side is fine. Um, but then what? How many of those do I get? Two for this, another four for the next one. And the four for the next one. Okay. I got a lot of spares here. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, you know? Checking my messages. Okay. Let's continue. And again, this is me just hoping that I got the direction right. And, oh yeah, you suggested... Oh, found the fucking arrow. I found the fucking arrow. So that kind of negates what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I got them r aligned in the right way. I was going to say that it's really hard for me to find a way to like power them up right now real quick. Um, just because I don't want to power on my computer with the... CPU connected and no cooler attached. Like, this is the last um, fan that I would like to just, like, test for fun, you know, without checking first. Um, and, yes, I can provide it with some external power with a different thing. It's just, gonna, it's just so much time. Oh, I'm supposed to use supposed to use these washers. So let's use the washers. Oh, okay. So this, um, this is actually the helpful part. This is telling you what you don't need for your build. So if I'm looking at AMD, then all these things that are included are not needed for this build. So this saves me a lot of clutter. I'm gonna ignore it for now. But now I know that I don't have to like figure out what what these do. These are just for Intel or whatever. Yeah, so let's um, continue here. Um, I'm gonna unscrew these, put the washers, right? Washer first. Okay. So why is the, why is it, no, wait, that doesn't, doesn't make sense. So here the radiator comes first, and then 
the um, the fans. I am doing this wrong again. Annoying. Very, very annoying. It's an all-in-one cooler. Couldn't it have come with the radiator and the fans already mounted in the right way? God damn. Seriously, god damn. So it's, it's the radiator on top, fans underneath, pulling air inside. Where was it? Okay. So I was wrong before. And these and these are going to be outlet air. The hot air is going to... The cold air is going to come in from the top. So I do need to mount these upside down. So the, like, boring part of it, with the uh, specs, it's going to be under the radiator. Which means... Okay. All right. Fine. I think I know what to do now. So pulling air inside. Um, still, which way do I want the fans to be? Like that way. So I can route the cables from behind. Let's hope I'm doing this correctly. Let's really hope I'm doing this correctly. Um, I need a whole ton of washers. Right? No, the plastic side does not require washers. I'm not throwing shit away, Ariel. <laughs> I ain't throwing shit away. And I'm sorry I, I, I reply with a delay. It's not Facebook. Hopefully. Uh, it's just me looking at the computer screen every once in a while. And not often enough. So that's the reason why I'm an asshole. Okay, so this is pulling air in towards the case. From the outside. That's the configuration. Okay. At least I figured out that part. That um, these screws are not supposed to... They're not going to go all the way. Um, this has... This area has enough to house like two ends of the screw. So, at least that. Um... Am I messing them? Yes, I have messed up the thermal paste. That means I'm going to be throwing it away. I'm going to be putting some of my own. Luckily, I have some. I think the cooler should have come with, like, extra thermal paste. Like, a tiny tube. Wouldn't have cost them more than a few shekels. This thing cost me close to 700 shekels, I think. Maybe 600-something. Um, so this could have, they could have easily included some extra paste here and they didn't. Lame. Okay. Two down. One to go. This way. This is the way. I haven't seen Mandalorian. I'm just quoting shit I don't even know. I can quote some... Um, what's it called? The thing with the, the people. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I can quote some Game of Thrones, having never watched more than 10 seconds of it. It's quite a revealing part about myself. Okie dokie. Fans are mounted. Um, now we can mount this. Should we? Should we do that already? 
Okay. So the short ones. I don't need this for now, do I? Maximum number of screws that I have. Just that I have like less to store and figure out later. Like it's best stored on the thing itself, isn't it? How many have I got? Three. Six, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve? That's a lot. That is a lot. But okay. Gonna hand screw them all just a little bit. And then I'm going to go with the power drill thing. <sighs> There's a lot of screws. indeed held with 12 screws that's crazy that's so overkill this could have been done with six <laughs> but here we are right but again it's gonna be better saved on the thing rather than a little baggy um, doing them across in a diagonal fashion. So that's what you do with a, with a car wheel, like when changing tires. There we go. All right, that's 12 screws. Okay, and we've got the whole thing here. Nice. And this is installed thus. Cool. Very nice. Let's take a few pictures. Now we gotta find the two screws from the four. Luckily, I kept them here. And I hope I'm doing this right. Like, I should be. You know what? I'm gonna keep this unscrewed for now. Because I might need to remove it for cable management in a second. So maybe it's too early to do that. It's like still held well in place. It's it rests on other metal, so there's no um, risk to that right now. See, just resting on top. Um, where do the fan headers go? I would imagine here. Yes. Right. 
So let's find the best way to do this in a cable managed way. This is going to be like that. Yeah, let's do that behind, like on the back of the motherboard. So yeah, that means I will route these fan cables here through the back of the case. Oh god. You don't realize how thirsty you are until you've had some cold water. Just like sitting here and talking to myself all this time. Oh yeah. Alright. Um through this one here. I hate this desk. This is just the project desk. This is not where my computer is. So, at least that. Okay. I hate the wobble. It's Ikea, obviously. It was a hand-me-down from a friend, so I don't care that much. Like, I should probably just replace the legs sometimes with something more sturdy. The plate itself is solid, solid wood. They don't sell them anymore. It's an old IKEA desk. But with new legs, this will be sturdy as fuck. Okay. Fans mounted radiator. Mounted slides a bit, but we can, uh, we can screw that in right now. That should be just fine. Yep. Letting all those screws drop. Remember that? Classic me. the top bracket mounted um, now yeah through uh, moving the shit around it really compromised the thermal paste so I'm going to remove it and add new one some new paste Should have first done, did the uh, the fans and shit, and then opened up the the pump and replaced the the mount. It was protected in some plastic. This is an abysmal amount of thermal paste, though. I don't know what the difference would be if when I when I apply my own, um, if it really can live off so little paste. I have no idea. Never tested it, never gonna test it. It's not this kind of YouTube channel, you know. Where's the paste? Don't tell me that I've misplaced my paste <laughs> in such a way that I don't find it now. And, ah, there we go. Good. It's also, also a Corsair. I think by this point you can call me a Corsair fanboy. Yep. All right. Oh, this is like to top it up. To top it up. Is this what it's for? That could be really cool. All right. 
Um, mounting bracket is prepared somehow. Somewhat. Um, insert the AMD screw clips, um, which are those two. Oh, it's um, the other way around. It's supposed to be that way. Really th would have thought that um, Corsair would have fixed it somehow, but whatever. All right, so it comes from the bottom. It needs to hold two of these. And secure with the thumb screws as shown. But it's not secured. It doesn't go all the way, does it? Oh, apparently it does. Very tightly. Okay, other side. They really should have protected the thermal paste um, in a way that would allow you to change the brackets, the mounting brackets first. Okay, that's this part done. Install the pump unit. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yes, I see now. Cool. Let's lay it flat. We haven't done that in a while. There's some cables here. Shit. That I wouldn't want to squeeze too much, but. Here we are. <clears throat> Let's apply the paste now. I may have used too much. I'd rather do that than use too little. All right, uh, now, now what? <laughs> uh, align the bracket with the stock AMD mounting clips. Oh, come on. Um, Tighten the thumb screws until secure. Oh, they weren't supposed to be secure. I said tightly first, didn't I? Ah, do not tighten the thumb screws all the way. Stupid me. <clears throat> okay. Can this cable stop coming through here now? Insert the AMD screw clips and secure with the thumb screws as shown. Do not tighten. Oh, that's before. Uh, tighten the thumb screws until secure. Cool. I'm sorry I can't show you a better angle right now. Let's try it, shall we? All in the sake of entertainment right now, right? How do I get it to align? Uh-huh. Uh, again, this is too tight. Hmm. 
Well, at least all this moving about is um, going to be helping <laughs> the uh, thermal paste to <laughs> move around and cover the entire CPU, right? As I'm hoping. Oh my god. Shit. Oh god. Ah, oh, finally. Okay. I may have over tightened it in this side. Um, it's not really together. Shit. The mounting bracket here is like pulling away. I knew this is the part I hated most. Truly. Okay. I think it's tight enough. This ain't going fucking nowhere. Okay then, let's lift it up. <clears throat> Pull that fucking fan header thing off the other side. Sorry I can't see this, but it's truly not interesting. Okay, now these cables, which belong to the pump, I will want to route them throughout the back, through the back as well. I'm going to do that. Mm, through this window here, right? What's this? This is a SATA, SATA power. Oh, interesting. I think I'm gonna take that to this side. I think I think that's what um, that SATA header was on the other side before the the part from the case. But then, actually, how does it get power from the motherboard? No, I need to investigate that part. It belonged to the case. And it's just a cable, like where does it draw power from? And the fan headers, the parts that receive the fan connectors will come through this side. Okay. Ugh. It doesn't look great cable management wise. Where was the SATA header? This is actually convenient. I feel like roll this. Um, this was it. Set of power is now connected. But I'm not sure what this is. We'll see. The fans will connect here. One, two, and three. This is one, two. This is three. But, and obviously, I'm going to line things up nicely in here. 
Oh, God. Checking messages. Install the pump unit. There we go. So now we have these instructions here. What do they say? Connect pump power cable to an available side of uh, power plug. Done. Actually done. Uh, connect pump tack cable to the CPU fan header. Ah, that needs to go to the CPU fan header. I'm sure there's a cable management e way to do that. Let's look at the case accessories. Mm. Wait, this is a, this is all like cooling shitting to remember that. Um, that is case accessories, but there were cables, weren't there? Mm. I think it was in the motherboard accessories. We had like fan cables. It's an RGB cable. A oh, thermistor cable. What's that? Oh, that's cool. That's the G connector. I'm gonna use that. Um. Later. Fine. No cable management just yet. Um. There must be like, cause there's shit here. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna route this outside again. Needs to go to the CPU fan header. Let's make sure that happens. Can you see all right? Not really. Great. <laughs> so we have this cable coming back from the pump. And it needs to go to the CPU fan header. Where the fuck? All right, fuck. I'm gonna pull this back. It's not the right place for it. Not in a cable management e way, not in any e way actually. Sorry for the boring part. This, um. That's usually how it goes, huh? Like the interesting bit is like the 20. The first 80%, the first 20%, now it's just almost troubleshooting at this point. <sighs> CPU optional, CPU fan. But the CPU fan is a 4 pin. Ah, okay. There's a 3 pin option for it. Sorry, you can't see it. But again, this is probably the most boring part you'll see today. And I've said that a number of times. I don't know which one, which one of the times I was right. Let's just make sure that this is the right connector for it. CPU fan indeed. And now this... Through the window. As well. To receive SATA power. And I'm sure it can. I'm sure I'll find some SATA power here available to me. Shit. That's an intake. Uh, here? Bam. Okay. Pump is connected. 
Now let's just run the um, fans into the pump. I don't know which way they go, but I don't really care. I mean, I don't care. Um, I say that, but I do care. I do care which one is one, two, and three. <sighs> of course I do care. I can't lie. Who am I kidding? Um, so, fan number one. That is it. That is fan number two. Might leave the cable management stuff for after the build so that you guys won't be bored with it. All right. Cool to know, Liel, that you're still with me. I pity you. Connect pump to USB 2 header. This is it. This is the cable, right? to go that is really ugly that needs to go here and I'm not sure that I'm able to cable manage my way out of it you know it's just gonna be like that honestly I don't care that much because it's not like airflow inside cases is as important or as blocked as it was back in the day with all the IDE cables but this is really ugly I would expect this to be longer so that you can route it through the back Am I able to do that? I really doubt it. I really doubt it. But let's see. I'll be very happy if I can. So, the shortest way around is through the top, sadly. If they provided me with a couple more centimeters that would have been enough it might work but it's just ugly and it's, it's gonna be tight either way ah it's gonna work so I routed it through the back and here it is back in the front And it barely made it. Barely made it. <laughs> but it made it. Cool. So, yeah, it's just tight, you know? I'm not a fan of it, but there we are. Cool. Uh, connect pump to USB header. That happened. And um, that's it. Uh, shit. Wow. I'm done, basically. I want to know if these fans are intake or outtake. These. These here. Uh, it's not going to be a huge deal right now. You know what? It's time to power it up, isn't it? Which will tell us if we've connected the power switch the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just get a, a monitor here. It's an old monitor. But it works. It's not my main monitor. Uh, 
This is gonna go to the computer. Now I need like a display port cable. I'll tell you what, this is really good that we're at this stage right now because I'm, I'm gonna need to sign off in a few minutes. <clears throat> so if this computer works, if it turns on, um, this uh, might be the end of the stream. I'm going to be optimizing shit later, like cable management and stuff like that, but I do need to go soon. So I'm just going to test it. Hope I don't blow it up. <laughs> you guys ready? <gasps> it turns on. we get to see something in the screen. Entering power save. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Even though the computer is like running. Not a good sign. Oh! PCIe power cables for this graphics card. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's um, good. That's good to know. But I did connect them. It is connected. What do they mean? There was this extra cable. There was, I'm, I'm unsure about PCIe. I don't know. It, I'm confused. I'm really confused. And you know what? I might have to leave you with that. Not very satisfying, I know. PCIe. For this graphics card. It's connected. And this is connected to the... Ow! Everything is heavy and, 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 and painful right now. <laughs> What did I miss? What did I miss? It's this cable. Oh, shit, we really did miss it. <laughs> That's actually a relief. Because... I don't have to troubleshoot it. Problem solved. Or like, problem detected. Does it work now? Oh my god, I completely fucking missed a cable.
How embarrassing is that? Okay. Let's do this again. All the cooler fans are running. Oh, well, we have fucking liftoff. Entering power save. Why is that? Or is it still like booting? Okay. I'm somewhat encouraged. Ha. <laughs> okay. There's no mouse and no keyboard connected. But I'm gonna call this a win. Ooh, high res now. Oh no, Windows <laughs> can't boot. <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense. I haven't installed Windows, like, there is an install of Windows in there, but it's not for this CPU, not for this motherboard, not for this kind of RAM, nothing. Uh, but this is, this is great. This is great. I'm going to call this a win, and I'm going to stop the stream. Uh... <laughs> Ariel, this is a win. This is a win. It's not supposed to boot to Windows. It's supposed to try. It's not supposed to be able to. Um, so this is a win for me. And uh, this computer is assembled. It is not ready. I need to format. It's just going to continue doing that, and that's okay. Um, let's see if this, the restart switch... Yeah, that works too. Cool. So I got the switches right. Um, yeah. This is a win. This is awesome. Thank you for, for staying with me. <laughs> I'm not going to try Linux. Thank you. Uh, maybe as a virtual machine. Um, but yeah, so, so thank you to uh, everyone who's been watching, um, which currently is just uh, Ariel. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up later. Uh, completely format the SSD and, and uh, cable manage the back of it. And... Uh, install the panels. Uh, so far it seems to be dead silent and it's really good. It's going to be even quieter when I do close everything off. And let's hope for, for good thermals. <laughs> good enough thermals would do. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. And this is the end of the stream, my friend.